Captain, I'm getting something. Put it on audio. For example, the word mountain starts with the letter M, and the letter M ironically is shaped like a mountain. The word hill starts with the letter H, and the letter H looks like a ladder. And our hill is not easier to climb than mountains. The word valley starts with the V, and the letter V actually spells part one. Letters are more than just tools used to create words. Each letter was carefully in characteristics. For example, the letter B. The letter B is shaped like a pregnant woman. The top part of it being the boobs and the bottom part of it being the belly. It's also shaped like a butt when the bottom and the top half are evenly shaped. Not only that, but the word breast, boobs, butt, bottom, belly, baby, and birth all start with B. That's because the letter B represents feminine energy. The first letter of a word or name will express its dominant energy. It'll help you understand characteristics of the word without even knowing its definition. We're in lower plane. The upper half represents the spiritual thought and the mind. The lower plane represents the physical, material, and earth plane. A letter like H, N, O, S, and X, when inverted, are the same, which means they are active on both planes. This gives them a double energy or strength, meaning whatever characteristics that letter already has, its energy is double. When you say someone's name subconsciously, you see the letters of their name. So the letters are just as important as the sound. The letters in your name influence your life experience, so the spelling is important. The first letter of your name explains your energy, your style or nature, or how you would approach a situation. The same goes for the word letter of the alphabet. It also represents the number one. Here's the history of the letter A before English. If you look at the very first A in early Hebrew, it was really an oxygen. It later transformed into this. From this, the Greek letter alpha was created. Then evolved from that our letter A in number one. The letter A is necessary to produce all sounds of the other letters in the alphabet. The letter A represents the element air, because air is in all living things, just like the letter A is in all letters. Remember the letter A upside down is shaped like a ox head. The letter A also represents Taurus. This constellation is visible at the beginning of spring, which is really the beginning of the year, because spring is the beginning of birth and life. The fallopian tubes are even shaped like a ox's head. Planes, cars, and airplanes boats were the major source of transportation for products. Because of this, there were laws created specifically for traveling on water. So just how in criminal law there is a system of laws that have to do with crimes, there is maritime or admiralty law that have to do with traveling and transporting products on the water. So when you are out at sea, you operate under a different set of laws. Courts also operate under maritime law. This is why people are also treated like war criminals in law. Maritime law is also military law. Okay, once a ship reaches a shore, they create a birth canal, which is an artificial waterway, which allows the boat to enter a certain direction. Once the ship or vessel is docked, it is called being birthed, hence the birthing canal. The process of delivering is called the birthing process. The words are actually spelled part When babies are born, they are taken to the maternity ward. A ward is a section of a prison. Another word for a ward is a cell. Cells are in batteries and convert chemical energy into electrical energy. So a maternity ward is a cell which is used to prepare babies to become batteries for the working class. They make prisoners in jail batteries too by making the prisoners work for free. When babies are the law is the law of water. And since you were born in the amniotic sac which was filled with water, technically you were born on water and your umbilical cord is connected to your navel. And the other version of navel is navel with the A like navel base, and the word umbilical in Latin translates to umbilicus, it means navel. The word navel means referring to the navy or ships. This was not a mistake or a coincidence. The word hospital is derived from the word hospice, meaning host, guest, or stranger. Hospice is derived from the word hostis, meaning stranger or enemy. Hostis later became hostile, meaning unfriendly and antagonistic. So a hospital is a unfriendly place hosted by strangers and enemies. Watch this entire video and I promise your mind is going to be blown away. The word you is a reference to the person that is being spoken to, but a you is also a female sheep. Both of these words are pronounced you, and both words derive from the old English word you. So there is no denying the connection between these words. The elites look at you as a sheep. Why a sheep? Because sheep are the most gullible animals who will even lead their own to slaughter. You is actually you. Which is a female sheep, but your name is actually name, which is the 
sound of horse mix. The elites literally look at us like animals. Don't believe me? Watch this. Women who have sex with a lot of men are called whores. Whores and horse are phonetically similar and are the same if you flip the E and the S in whores. In a relationship, a man might say, stop nagging, or all she does is nag. A nag is literally defined as a worthless horse. And after nagging and arguing so much, your voice may go hoarse. And all successful relationships are called what? Stable relationships. And a stable is a building to store racehorses. And once a couple gets married, the man becomes the groom. A groom is defined as a man who maintenances a horse or a dog. And the derogatory term for a woman is bitch and horse, which is a dog and a horse. A crib is also where a pony sleeps at. That's going to blow your mind. The United States of America at the top with the capital T does not represent the same thing as the two at the bottom. One represents our country, the other two represents a corporation. If you don't believe me, let's look at the U.S. Code. Subsection 15A defines the United States as a federal corporation. Why do you think the United States has presidents and vice presidents just like a corporation? Remember, most countries don't have presidents. They have kings, queens, prime ministers, chancellors. The government also has human resources and secretaries just like a corporation. Follow to understand more. Video I showed you how the elites look at people as horses. The word manage is derived from the Italian word manager. The word manager means to control, especially to handle a horse. So your manager is someone who controls horses. Also, why do we call it ponytails and not hair tails? I know it might sound weird because we've been calling them ponytails for so long. But monkeys have toes too, and we don't call our toes monkey toes, we call them human toes. Because we are humans. Women also call the fringes on the front of their head bangs. The word bang in German is literally pony. Do not forget, but I don't think a lot of you actually know what the word rapture really means. The word rapture comes from the Latin word raptus. The word raptus is defined as kidnapping, abduction, and rape. Abduction is defined as the action or instance of forcibly taking someone against their will. I obviously don't need to explain the other two. In the Bible, God says he will descend down for his people during the rapture. Another word for angel or God is extraterrestrial. How? Extra means beyond, terra means earth, and astral means stars. Extraterrestrial is defined as beyond the earth's atmosphere, and heaven is beyond the earth's atmosphere. The only time we ever use the word abduction is when we're referring to aliens. Christianity will keep you in the victim mentality because it teaches you to wait for somebody to come back and save you. Those of you who choose to participate in the rapture are agreeing and giving your consent to be abducted and kidnapped. In order or not, your birth certificate is an agreement between your parents and the government of giving ownership of you over to them. The government was literally bringing you out or is currently bringing you out to your parents. This is why Child Protective Services can take your child away from you. Your parents are literally a pair that rents. And when the government feels like you aren't taking care of their property properly, they'll take it away from you. Your birth certificate turns you into a corporation. So whenever you get a document with your name in all capital letters, it is referencing you as a corporation. Your birth certificate is a bond. A bond is a contract to pay a certain amount of money. And when you identify yourself by your birth certificate, you are accepting the debt bond. But your birth certificate is also worth money and can be used to receive money. Your name is written in capital letters, but another word for money is capital. That's why government documents represent your name in capital letters because it represents money and they cooperate. The word vote is derived from the Latin word votum, which means a vow, a wish, or promise to God. Now remember, a vow is a serious promise. Now a wish is a strong desire or hope for something that is not easily attainable, one something that cannot or probably will not happen. The last meaning is promise to God. So basically when you vote, you are making a promise to your new God. It gets deeper. The word vote is phonetically similar to the word vote. When you go to vote or make a wish, you go to a voting poll. Poll is phonetically similar to poll, and a poll is the positive and negative ends of a magnet. So when you vote or elect, like electricity, and remember L means God, like Elohim, and electricity is the reason your heart is beating right now, you give your energy to who you want to see in charge or in power. It's the deals with fictional characters. Why do you think our laws are called acts and statutes or statutes? All of the agents in the government are actors of the game or play. Anytime the word government refers to you by your legal name in all capital letters, it doesn't refer to you per se, but a fictitious entity that they created when you were born. They use
use this legal fiction to operate a new business with. This fictitious entity is called the straw man and is considered dead because technically it isn't alive. When a defendant has to go to court, he will receive something called a writ of summons. And what do witches do when they bring spirits from the dead? They summon them. Judges are also called magistrates. Magi is really magic, and straight is really straight. And straight is another word for canal. The canal is a waterway made to direct vessels, and you are the vessel looked at as banks. Think about it. In some cases, a judge determines whether or not a plaintiff or defendant will receive money. Think about it. A judge sits behind a bench, and before banks were called banks, they were called benches. They were called benches because back then they were literally benches or counters used to write financial exchanges, like a deposit withdrawal and loan. This is the reason why banks look the way they do now. There's the counter or bench right there. And if that wasn't enough for you, the origin of the word bench is bank. Loans are just a way to hide words. Bass is defined as the low frequency end of an audio signal. The word bass is derived from the word bass. Bass is defined as the lowest part of something. If you look at the first bass, you see the word ass. When it comes to your chakras, your root chakra is the base of all your chakras because it is the lowest part of your being. Your root chakra is in between your groin and your ass. And if you didn't know, there is a musical note and frequency that correlates with each chakra. And if you notice, the lowest frequency is the root chakra. What do women start doing when they hear a lot of bass music? If you look closely, it even says the root chakra is the first chakra in your body located at the base of your spine. Even though your sacral chakra has to do with your sexuality, your root chakra has to do with your survival, which is a part of your sexuality as well. Bass music stimulates sexual energy. This video for convict has a hidden meaning here. But to understand its true meanings, you have to break the word down into convict and rearrange them into vict con. The word vict comes from the Latin root vinc, meaning to conquer. Vict is also the root of the word victim. Victim breaks down into vict and I'm literally translating into I'm conquered. The word victim is defined as a person who is tricked or duped or a living creature killed as a religious sacrifice. The word con is defined as persuade someone to do or believe something typically by use of deception. An instance of deceiving or tricking someone. So a convict's literally a victim of a con and your is the con artist because they tricked you into playing this legal and corporate game.